The movie starts with the scene of a pirate ship that is sailing. One night, the pirates accidentally saw a fire burning on an island. Soon after, the crew inform their captain. Then, he checks the situation on the island using his binoculars. He saw a burning house and a man hanged by wild animals. Afterward, the pirate captain ordered all his men to land on the island and told them to get rid of the disturbing beasts and seize all of the man's property. Moments later, the pirate ship anchored on the island. After the pirates managed to land, some crew members met the man being hanged earlier. His name was Robinson Crusoe. Afterward, they brought him to meet their captain. When they arrived at the captain's room on the ship, a parrot came in through the window. Soon after, the captain tried to attack the parrot. Then Robinson said that the parrot was his. After that, the captain lets the parrot stay with Robinson. Then the captain started asking him some questions. First, he asked about the situation on the island and whether there was anything valuable, such as treasure. Hearing that question, Robinson took his parrot out of the room, and then he answered the pirate captain's question. On the other hand, the parrot outside the ship was talking to two mice that had emerged from the ship's log. The parrot named Tuesday began to tell the mice about how he and Robinson met on the island. So, one day Robinson, who dreams of visiting new places, dared to go on an adventure with his beloved dog. Shortly after, he decided to board a ship. However, because it was his first time sailing, Robinson experienced severe seasickness. While he was on board, he always had nausea and vomiting. All the passengers on the ship, including the captain, mocked him for not stopping vomiting because of seasickness. Long story short, Robinson's ship was attacked by a big storm in the middle of the ocean. Because he is still a beginner and doesn't know anything, he tries to help the other crew deal with the storm. Unfortunately, the ship's sail that was above it suddenly fell. Luckily Robinson managed to save himself. But suddenly, he slipped, making his beloved dog, Ainsley, almost fall into the sea. Fortunately, he could catch Ainsley. After that, the ship suddenly became disfigured by the waves. Robinson, who lost his balance, fell along with Ainsley, and they were both trapped because the exit door could not be opened due to being crushed by the main mast of the collapsed ship's sail. Because of that, Robinson tried to get out and screamed for help. But no one came. Still, in the ship's hull, he met two evil wild cats. Suddenly, the cat threw a lamp, hitting his head and knocking him out. Meanwhile, the ship's crew, who knew they would not survive the storm, finally left the ship. Then they left Robinson, who was trapped in a lifeboat. Robinson, who was still unconscious, did not know that he had been abandoned, so he drifted in the middle of the ocean until he was finally stranded on a remote island. So, the island is home to several animals, namely Rosie, a female hippopotamus, Carmelo, a male chameleon, Scrubby, a male goat, Pango, a male anteater, Kiki, a female bluebird, Epi, a female hedgehog, and Mac, a male parrot. Because the hurricane hits the island, the animals run to save themselves. As the animals try to escape the storm, Carmelo, Epi, and Scrubby nearly fall off a cliff. Luckily the three of them got stuck in a tree branch, and when Mac was trying to help them, a rock accidentally fell from the top of a cliff and hit his head. In the end, the branch they used to hold broke, and the four of them fell. Luckily they survive. After the storm passed, Mac and his friends were surprised to see a ship and a human stranded on their island because this was the first time the animals saw a human. Pango thought that Robinson was a monster that emerged from the seabed. From the ship, Robinson screamed for help. When there was no answer, he and his dog decided to get off the ship using a barrel so they could get ashore. Seeing him, the animal was scared. Then they had the idea to drive him off their island by using strange sounds. Robinson, who heard a strange sound from a distance, started to get scared. He thinks the sound comes from a tribe of cannibals living on the island. Afterward, he rushed back to his ship with Ainsley for cover. Soon after, Mac and his friends are thrilled to be able to drive Robinson off their island. That night he comes to the ship to see Robinson resting. Here Mac is increasingly convinced that Robinson is not a sea monster who wants to eat him. Then he returns to where his friends are. After meeting his friends, Mac wanted to prove to them that there were other places they didn't know about outside the island. While talking, Scrubby smells fruit from inside Robinson's ship and tries to approach him. Robinson, who was warming up, was surprised to hear a strange sound nearby. He went out to see what it was. He was relieved to see a goat instead of a tribe of cannibals. Then he also saw a parrot flying around him. From there, he thought that on that island, there were only animals and no cannibal tribes that he was so afraid of. The next day, Robinson came back to the island. He began collecting the remaining items on the ship that might still be used as a source of food and a place to live. On the other hand, Mac and his friends noticed Robinson's movements which they thought were strange. Then, when Robinson searched the ship, he found a rifle and tried to use it as self-defense. When he tries to shoot a target aboard using his rifle, the animals who see this become frightened and run away. They were shocked because it was the first time they saw a rifle and heard the loud sound of a shot. 
After that incident, Mac's friends are increasingly convinced that Robinson is a sea monster who has come to harm them. Then they went to save themselves. However, the animals don't know that the real monster is watching them, namely two naughty cats who throw Robinson with a lamp until he faints while on the ship. The cats were named Mia, a female cat, and Mal, a male cat. It turned out that they kept an eye on Rosie. So, Mia and Mal were stranded with Robinson on the island and starving. Mal, who couldn't wait to hold back his hunger, kept whining, making Mia angry. Then she attacked Mal and said to patiently wait and watch. When Mac and his friends were off guard, they would eat them individually. On the other hand, Robinson, who had mastered his rifle enough, decided to hunt on the island in search of food. Then he meets Rosie. When he was about to shoot her, he didn't have the heart, and finally, he shot his rifle upwards to drive her away. Unfortunately, his shot almost hit Mia, who was lurking behind a tree. Robinson, who did not have the heart to hurt the animals on the island, decided to go and fish alone with Ainsley. Mac, who heard gunshots from his nest, rushed out and saw what was happening. When flying casually, he didn't know that two evil cats were stalking him and preparing to pounce on him. After he arrived, Mac was attacked by Mal and Mia until he fell. Ainsley, who saw Mac being attacked, came and tried to help him along with Robinson who fired shots to chase the cats away. After the cat left, Robinson approached Mac and saw how he was doing. Robinson saw that Mac was injured and took him to the ship to treat him. On the other hand, Mia and Mal, annoyed because they couldn't eat, started to incite Mac's other friends by saying that it was Robinson who had attacked Mac and was now taking him away to hurt him. The animals, who believed Mia and Mal's provocation, went to Robinson's place to save Mac. While on board, Robinson is trying to treat Mac. Soon after, he could use his wings again. He felt that he had guessed correctly about how good Robinson was. After Robinson leaves the ship, Mac asks Ainsley to tell him more about Robinson. Shortly after, Ainsley began to tell stories. So, he and Robinson used to live on an island called England. One day, Robinson wanted to visit new places in this world, so he decided to accompany Robinson until they arrived on the island because their ship was wrecked due to being caught in a storm. On the other hand, Robinson, who is relaxing on the beach, is suddenly attacked by Rosie, Scrubby, and the others. Meanwhile, Mia and Mal secretly sneak into the ship to eat Mac. Ainsley, who was looking after Mac, fought the two cats to protect Mac, but their fight accidentally set the ship on fire. Ainsley, who was trying to save Mac, was crushed by a piece of wood and trapped in the fire because of Mia's actions. Then Mac tried to scream for help, but no one came. Afterward, he flies towards Ainsley, trying to save him, who is currently being crushed by more wood. Unfortunately, his efforts are in vain. Seeing the flames getting bigger, Ainsley told Mac to save himself while he was not saved. On the other hand, Rosie, Scrubby, and their friends, who saw the ship fire, left Robinson out of fear. After they left, Robinson realized that a fire had started and Ainsley was trapped inside. While trying to reach the ship, he saw the two evil cats and blamed them. Suddenly the ship explodes, which causes Mia and Mal to be thrown onto the rocks on the other side of the island and trapped there. So, Robinson was deeply saddened by Ainsley's death. Soon after, Mac arrives, trying to comfort him and become his new friend. Afterward, Mac meets Kiki. There he told Kiki that Ainsley had sacrificed his life to save him and then said that from now on, he could not leave Robinson alone. Mac also said that the two cats had evil intentions and attacked him. Kiki, who heard that, finally understood. In the morning, Mac meets Rosie, Scrubby, and his friends. There he tells about what really happened. After hearing his story about Robinson, his friends finally realized they had been wrong all this time and wanted to apologize. Then they went over to Robinson. When they got there, they pushed each other because they were still a little afraid of him. But as time went on, they finally got to know him. Because of his kindness, they all started to be friends with Robinson and began living with him. On the waterfront, Robinson plans to build a house while waiting for other ships to pass. Not long after, his house was standing but collapsed as soon as he let go of the handle. After trying many times, Robinson became frustrated because his house was never finished. Finally, he had the idea to make a house in a tree. Then he began exploring the island until he finally found a large tree suitable for living. Soon after, he started building a house on that tree. Meanwhile, Mac and his friends, who didn't understand what Robinson was doing, could only watch and sometimes they even hindered his work. Mac seeing Robinson couldn't stop thinking about what he was doing. Then he realizes that Robinson is trying to build a nest. Shortly after, he tells his friends that Robinson is building a nest. Once they know Robinson's goal, Mac and his friends help him build his house. They even plan to fill his house with food. For days, Mac and his friends built a tree house and finally, the house was finished. When he saw that, Robinson was amazed and also very happy. Afterward, they ate fruit in the tree house to celebrate their success. 
While Robinson Mac and his friends are having a party celebrating their new home, Mia and Mal already have new members. Apparently, Mia has given birth to several kittens. They both manage to survive by eating the insects and fish they catch. The scene then moves to Robinson's house. As soon as the house was finished, he had a new project, to connect a water channel to the house. He wants to do that so he can easily get clean water in his house without going far from home. Now Robinson's hair and beard are getting longer. While in the control tower, he waits for other humans to come to the island and save him. However, even after waiting a very long time, there was still no sign of a passing ship. Over time, the wreck of the Robinson ship began to become brittle, causing the cat's path across the island to be cut off. Because of that, the cats jump over through the ship bit by bit to reach the island where Mac and his friends live. When they arrived at the island, the cats almost ate Kiki who was perched on the mast. At first, the cats caught her, but thanks to Mac, who was also there, Kiki managed to escape. Soon after, they rush back to the treehouse to warn the other friends that the evil cats are back and want to eat them all. Shortly after, the cats arrived at the treehouse. Robinson, who saw Rosie and Scrubby being attacked by the cats, tried to help them with a gun. However, when he was loading ammunition, the cats entered the treehouse and attacked him. The panicked Robinson accidentally dropped his rifle. Afterward, he was continuously attacked by the cat until he fell from the window of his house. Luckily Robinson was hanging from the window, and soon he fell and was hanging on a tree branch. Then he tries to ask his animal friends for help. Shortly after, Mac threw a rope and was caught by Robinson. Using the rope, Robinson slowly descends the cliff. Meanwhile, the cats are still trying to attack his friends in the treehouse. After facing the cats, they finally manage to drive the evil cats from their treehouse. Not long after, Robinson tried to enter the house through the door under the house, but Rosie mistook him for a cat. Then she closes the door, making Robinson hit his head and faint. Luckily Mac arrives and says the person trying to get in is Robinson. Afterward, they open the door to see his condition. Shortly after, Mac took Robinson's shotgun and tried to use it to defend himself. Aided by his friends, Mac manages to use the rifle. But Scrubby accidentally drops the ammunition box when he tries to shoot a cat that breaks into his house. So his shot hits the powder and causes an explosion. The explosion temporarily drives the cats away, but they plan to return to attack Mac and his friends. Soon after, Mac plans to move his friends to another place. However, they couldn't leave Robinson, who was unconscious because of hitting his head on the door. Then Mac has an idea to lure the cats to the tower. It turned out that, before that, Robinson used the place to see if a ship was approaching the island. When the night comes, Mac and his friends start to put their plan into action. Soon the cats came and surrounded him. The cats thought Mac's wing was broken and took this as an opportunity, but they don't know if it's part of the plan. Shortly after, Mac tries to lure the cats up the tower. When they get to the top of the tower, his friends below try to bring the cats down the tower. Soon after, the tower fell into the sea along with the cats. After defeating the cats, Mac returns home. He saw their house burning and rushed there to help Robinson out. After getting out, Robinson used a hook and rope to get down from the house. When he almost reached the bottom, a piece of wood suddenly fell and hit his head. Then he fainted again, and he was found by the pirates. After Robinson finished telling his story, he was forced by the pirate captain to work on his ship, but he did not want to stay on a ship full of criminals, so he secretly escaped from the pirate ship and returned to his island. At the film's end, the cats try to save themselves using a wooden ship, but instead, they get into a pirate ship, and their ship instead used by Robinson to return home to his island. It can be seen that the cats are enjoying the food on the pirate ship, while the pirate captain, who saw Robinson run away, intended to just let him go. After returning to the island, Robinson meets his animal friends again, and the film ends. So from this movie, Robinson teaches us not to give up easily despite experiencing difficult problems. He proved that good deeds are not limited to just a few things. Because of his kindness, he could help other animals. Then in return, he is also helped by wild animals on the island to survive.